that Hunter Hunter greatness. It's so good to watch these episodes, man. Oh my god, this episode is so good. Oh, oh, I, I, man, the feels every time Tuesday comes around and you get to watch that epic episode of Hunter Hunter. It comes out and you just feel like, ah, oh, Togashi, man, Togashi. I love it. I love it. Okay, the episode. Damn. It was good. It was a very good episode because of the certain things that happened. For one thing, there was a lot of derping. For instance, Hisoka and Ilumi in this episode. That put shivers up my spine, on my skin. I was fucking terrified because the music that popped up reminded me of Marilyn when he got pissed off. And then you saw, uh, saw the entire situation with the aurora around him, like malice and evil. You saw these crows come in, it's like killing intent. I mean, it, even Hisoka kind of backed off and he says like, I was just joking and he has a dirt face on. So just like, oh my God, that that was so shocking. I, I mean, Yumi was about to kill Peace, okay? He's like, I will kill you right now. I mean, that face was like, I will kill you if you touch my brother, if you kill my brother. And that really just changes the entire perspective, honestly, because, I mean, we've always known that Ilumi is protective over his brother Kua, but to see this episode, the way it was shown to us, it shows you that he really deeply cares. He's willing to even kill his friend Hisoka. And that is terrifying. It is very terrifying. And then there's other things that happen in this episode that are really terrifying. For one thing, Subone, or I hope that's her name right, the, the old lady maid, she was able to watch Killua in Godspeed. Now, I don't know if she could have attacked Killua or not. I don't know. But from this episode, from the information I saw and was given, it seemed like she was able to see Killua move in Godspeed mode, and she was kind of able to keep up. And so, if Soli could keep up with Killua, okay, when Yupi couldn't even keep up, Yupi couldn't even keep up, and if Soli could actually see his movements, holy shit. Yeah, that is scary. That is really freaking scary because I'm willing to bet Simone is probably stronger than Kill was in physical strength. So if, you know, she can actually see him move and if she could hit him, dude. And then let's not even get into the entire aspect of Zeno, uh, Kill was grandpa, I and mean, then uh, Silva. I mean, seriously, you gotta think about this. I mean, if this this maid can see him, we're, we're not even getting into the aspect of the other higher ups than Simone. So, whoa! Very, very big whoa right there, because that was just terrifying to see that in this episode. Now, there was a lot of good faces, reaction faces, in this entire episode. I mean, seriously, they really put in some good budget into this episode. Well done, Madhouse, you did a good job, especially with the different faces you chose to use. For instance, that entire scene when you see Killua in the vehicle, and he realizes that his family wants to kill Aldoka, and they don't care about it. They don't consider her family, they want to kill her, Ilumi wants to kill her, and so he realize this, you see this, like, freaking pissed off face. Like, we haven't seen Killua this angry in quite a long time. It's been so long since I've seen his character that mad. And the way he was shown was also terrifying. This episode was freaking terrifying because of the events that unfolded. Because, I mean, this was an inner dispute between this family, the Zoldix family. So, to see this inner dispute, how it was going on, and to find out that they will not kill each other, for instance, they will not kill family... But that doesn't stop someone else that's outside of the family from killing family. And that also, at the same time, they don't consider Aluka family. And so she's up for, let's assassinate her. So, whoa. Now, I want to say something real quick, okay? From this episode, from the stuff, you know, we were given to, we all know for a fact Aluka's probably going to save Gom. It's already possible now, and it's pretty much obvious that she will come to heal him. It's obvious that will eventually happen. But the big question now that is before my eyes, will she die? Will she be killed? Because, I mean, you've got to think about the cost, the equal exchange after she does resurrect him, as I mentioned before. And I wonder if she's going to get killed soon as she grants that wish. Will, you know, Hisoka, Ilumi, or someone come in to kill her? Hopefully not, because I've loved her character so far. Even though she's kind of a little bit hacked, I like her character. She's really adorable for the most part. For instance, this episode, when she derped herself, like, ah, that was so, oh my god. 
<laughs> that was so good. That, that's a freaking dirt face. Did she have like a freaking smile? And she was like, Driller's like, eh, I need you. And I was like, oh my. Just that. That is the type of brother sister love I like seeing in an anime because that's just so adorable. It's so adorable the way she acted. She's definitely best girl. You could say she's a guy. Like I said, I still think she's kind of a girl. I, since, you know, Killa thinks she's a girl, I want to just say she's a girl. Okay? I, she may be. A boy in physical body, but I think it's a girl, so I'm just going to respect that and say it's, you know, Olika is a girl. But besides that, the episode was consistent with quality, plot progression, the pacing was really freaking nice, and there was a lot of dialogue. I mean, a lot of dialogue. I mean, that entire tunnel scene when you saw them in the tunnel, when they were driving in the limousine and all that... That was a lot of dialogue. I mean, that was an extreme, excessive amount of dialogue. I'm not saying I was bored with it. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying, oh my god, there's so much dialogue. I heard a couple people the past couple weeks when I did my reviews of Hunter x Hunter stating that these upcoming arcs, for instance, this arc and the next arc is going to have a lot of dialogue. And so if you cannot make it through this arc with the dialogue, you most likely are going to hate the next arc. That's supposedly what I've heard. I don't know if it's correct or not, but that is the different information I was given. Now, the episode... Go watch it if you've yet to watch it. This is the Hunter Hunter freaking greatness. It's just being blown, being blown. It, it just, it continues to impress me by the week, and I don't know how it manages to retain my hype each freaking week. I mean, it is just such a good series and so underrated. It really is. I mean, we all know what it is if you're watching this video, but there's so many people out there that do not know about the series. I mean, I wish more people really knew about the greatness that is Hunter x Hunter. So anyways, everybody, tell me your thoughts about this episode. I mean, what'd you feel about all the different events that happened? What'd you feel about all the different lineups, like the runner-ups for the next chairman, like the 16 different people? What'd you feel about the pity vote against Gene at the end, like he's number 16? What'd you feel about Leorio being number fucking three? He's number fucking Oh my god, my boy! My boy number three! So tell me your thoughts about that. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. And everybody, I will have a live reaction up sometime today. It'll be on the side here, and it's just going to be like a little segment, my reaction to the entire Hisoka Goto fight. That right there, oh my god, Goto better not die. But I'll have the live reaction up somewhere, so I recommend go checking that out if you're interested in seeing my live reaction. So anyways, everybody, have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.